Today we're going to look at how to get darker overall results and a more consistent appearance and also how this method can be used to speed up your production time. As always, let's jump right in. First we need to make a water and borax solution. Borax can be difficult to find in local stores, but it is available on Amazon. I've placed a link in the description below. Make sure to use hot water so the borax fully dissolves. I am leaving part of the wood untreated so we can see the difference between with and without borax. Using a foam brush will help ensure you get a nice even coating. And then we need to let it dry. I use a fan to help speed it up. Now that it's dry, we're ready to burn our test. If you are interested in doing this at home to get your own results, the file is available as a free download in the description section. The first two designs are without borax and are noticeably lighter than the rest, as well as smoke staining around the edges. All four of the borax graphics were done with flood fill, but the two in the center had lower line per inch values, resulting in poorer quality. I would recommend staying above 250 as it seems to be the threshold for flood fill to have good results. Based off what we learned from this test, I could redo this job in a third of the time at a fraction of the power. I hope you found this video useful and I appreciate you watching. Until next time, take care.